gave them a vision of the expected end. He gave them a dream of how their lives and destinies will end. But look at what happened in Numbers chapter 1, chapter 13 from verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord spoke to Moses. The Lord has spoken to you as he has spoken to me. He has called you by your name and said, I have gone ahead of you to prepare a beautiful future for you. There is no need for you to be afraid. I have given you my words that I have gone to your expected hand to prepare everything for you. There is no need for you to be afraid. Look at your neighbor again and say, fear not. Please say it heartily. Look at your neighbor and say, fear not. What you are afraid of is equally afraid of you. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, verse 2, quickly, please. I'm going to read up to 30, verse 2 quickly. Send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. From each tribe of their fathers, you shall send a man, everyone a leader among them. Verse 3, quickly. So Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the command of the Lord. All of them men who were heads of the children of Israel. Verse 4, quickly. Now these were their names from the tribes of Reuben, Shamua, the son of Zachor. Verse 5, quickly. From the tribe of Simeon, Shapha, the sons of Hori. Verse 6, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephne. Verse 7, from the tribe of Issachar, Egal, the son of Joseph. Verse 8, from the tribe of Ephraim, Osia, the son of Nun. Verse 9, from the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, the son of Raphu. Verse 10, from the tribe of Zebulun, Gadiel, the son of Zodi, verse 11, from the tribe of Joseph, that is, from the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Susi, verse 12, from the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gemali, verse 13, quickly, from the tribe of Asher, Setor, the sons of Michael, verse 14, from the tribe of Naphtali, Nambi, or Na, Na, Nabi, the son of Oshi, verse 15. From the tribe of God, Guel, the son of Machi, verse 16. These are the names of the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Hosea, the son of Nun, Joshua, verse 17. Then Moses sent them by spy out of the land of Canaan and said, to them, go up this way into the south and go up to the mountains, verse 18, and see what the land is like. God has spoken to them. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, I have gone ahead to prepare an expected end. My thought for you are not of evil, but of peace to bring you. So God is committed to bringing you to an expected end. He has actually gone ahead to prepare your future. That's why I see somebody here, you are going to be successful. Praise God. You are going to be successful. Your expected end is beautiful. Your future is bright. That is why I'm saying, fear not, you will get there. I thought somebody would say a better amen. amen. I said you will get there. Amen. Irrespective of the pranks of the devil, by the grace of God, you will finish well. Amen. And you will finish strong. Amen. And see what the land is like. Whether the people who dwell in it are strong or weak. Few or many, verse 19, whether the land they dwell in is good or bad, whether the cities they inhibit are like camp, camps or strongholds, verse 20, quickly, whether the land is rich or poor, and whether they are forest there or not, be of good courage. Look at your neighbor and say, be of good courage. Look at your neighbor and say, be of good courage. Your end will be brighter. Your end will be more beautiful. I 
and bring some of the fruits of the land. Now the time was the season of the first ripe grapes. Verse 21. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin as far as Rehob near the entrance of Hamath. Verse 22. And they went up through the south and came to Hebron. Ah, 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 Ahiman Sashi, Tamai, the descendant of Anak, were there. There were giants there. The descendants of Anak were there. They were giants in that land. Now, Abram was built. He built seven years before Zoan in Egypt, verse 23. Then they came to the valley of Eskor, and there cut down a branch with one cluster of grapes. They carried it between two of them on a pole. They also brought some of the pomegranates and figs, verse 24. The place was called the valley of Eskor because of the cluster which the men of Israel cut down there, verse 25. Quick and they returned from spying out the land 40 days. They went on a journey for 40 days to spy a land, the land that was flowing with milk and honey. All the assignment was to go and see how the land looks like and bring reports from the land. Now look at verse 26. Now they departed and came back to Moses. I pray you will not come back with evil reports. This year, evil reports will not be your portion. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and show them the fruits of the land. That was the assignment. Go and spy the land and bring of the proceeds of the land. They did that, but they came back with something else. Now look at, and they told him and said, we went to the land where you sent us. He is truly, it truly flows with milk and honey. And this is the evidence, this is the fruits of the land. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in that land are strong. Do you see the language of failure? I can't do it. It's impossible. It's too strong for me to carry or to lift. It's not my type they are looking for there. I'm too small for it. It's not possible this year anymore. Look at me. Who knows me? Who knows my family? Who will help me? I have no connection in Abuja. I don't know any senator. I don't know any House of Red members. I have no connection in the presidency. Who knows me? I'm just a commoner. I'm nobody. Nobody's seeing me. The assignment was to go and spy. They didn't ask them to go and fight. They just said, go and see what it looks like. Don't forget in verse 1, God was the one that ordered them. God was the one that told Moses, tell them, choose 12 tribes to go and bring good news to my children. How I have gone ahead to prepare a beautiful place for them. A land that flows with milk and with honey. But look at their words. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendant of Anak there. Look at them. They came with the fruits of the land. They delivered the fruit first. They now exempted themselves from the blessings. You are in church. The reason why you are in church is because you believe in God. But when you came to church, you don't have faith to connect. 
You don't have faith to connect with the power of God. Why? Because you have been intimidated by the sons of Hanak. Because you have been intimidated by giants called mammon, called money. You believe it can't be possible for your family. One thing God looks at, the intent of a man. One thing God looks at, the heart of a man. No wonder the Bible says, the way a man thinks in his heart, so is he. If you are thinking that you are defeated, you'll be defeated. If you are thinking that you are a failure, you will fail. There's no amount of prayer and fasting and deliverance that you can do. If you don't renew your mindset, you are trapped in the cage of the devil. Verse 29. Look at what they say. 29, please. Hey, my I worship you. We lay a crown and worship. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, they began to see distractions. The Hittites, the Jebusites, they began to see their enemies. Some of us, my problem is from my father, my father's lineage. Uh, there are wishes in our family. There are wishes that are, you don't understand, Pastor. My family, they are strong. Ah, they are strong. Their bony is strong. Ah, Pastor, you don't understand. You are just saying it like that. I am the one that knows my family. Ah. My great grandmother, my grandmother, my mother. <laughs> Those are distractions. God has simply spoken. Go and spy the land. The one who said go and spy the land has already conquered the land. But the devil came and presented giants. The reason why so many of us are not blessed is because of distractions. You are looking at those giants and you are now concluding that it's not possible for you. But I want you to know that there is another spirit. It's called the spirit of courage. In the midst of turbulences, there is a saying which says, when the going get tough, those who are rough and tough, they keep moving on. Now look at what happened. The Canaanites, the Amorites dwell in the mountains. The Canaanites dwell in the sea. Is that the assignment? And along the bank, banks of the Jordan, verse 29, quickly. The Amalekites, please. Okay, verse 30. I believe we have Caleb in the house. Is there any Caleb in the house here? Wow. Then Caleb quieted the people. Shut up! Who is going to flow with the Caleb spirit here? You will silence all your adversaries. You will silence all the distractions. Do you know it's possible that in your family you have shared your dreams with them and there is somebody who is not going anywhere and the person will come and say, Ah! <laughs> you can't make it. Your father failed. Your mother failed. We supervised them. Masotene. Mashatana masigine. Masheka praigine. Mayate lebosune. Thank you, Lord. The killer quieted them. Quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession. For what? 
we are well able to overcome it. How many overcomers are here? How many overcomers are here? That picture of that beautiful future, do you still believe you can get there? I can't hear you. Have you lost focus on that dream? Have you lost focus on that destination that God has told you? Listen to me. If God had not gone ahead to prepare a beautiful end for you, he would show you your dream. We all have dreams. If I begin to ask you of your dreams now, you will begin to tell me what you saw, how be beautiful it was, that ah, I can see that a time will come. I can see that a time will come. I can see that a time will come. Listen, God has not taken those dreams from you. The devil is simply trying to distract you. One day my son, my second son came and called my wife and said, he was age two or three at that time. He walked to my wife, he said, mommy, I want to go to White House at age three. Who told him about White House? What did he know, at, uh, know about White House? He came to my wife and said, Mommy, I want to go to White House. Please, where is White House? White House is in the United States of America, Washington, D.C. My two, three-year-old son came to my wife and said, I want to go to White House. And my wife and I took it up. Said, we, we are not going to joke with this. My wife came to me and said, why don't you let us apply? Mind you, we have tried several times. They didn't give us visa. But on the dream of that child, my wife said, why don't you let us try again? I said, okay. Then we filed for my wife. Guess what? They gave my wife the visa. Immediately my wife called me and said, Babe, they have given me the visa. I said they have given me my own too. Why? A child saw a vision of expected end. We keyed into it and it became a reality. When I went to the embassy with my son, I said, Son, the White House you dreamt about, that is the White House in Nigeria. I said, if you enter into this White House, you have entered America. It's a different place entirely. And when we entered, the man saw me with my son standing in front of the cubicle and the man said, he was supposed to interview me. He looked at me and looked at my son. He said, is that your son? I said, yes. Is he traveling with you? I said, yes. And he gave us our visa. He didn't ask me a word. A child saw a dream. We keyed into the dream and it became a reality. How much more the dreams that God has given to you? You have seen good, good things. Don't lose focus on those things. The reason why God is not showing us the same thing at the same time is because we all have different expected end, different glorious end. Look at your neighbor again and say, it's not over for you yet. Say to your neighbor boldly and say, I know it's not over for you. Point at your neighbor and say, I can see you finish well. I can see that you will finish strong. Don't allow distractions. You will make it. You will make it. I want you to rise to your feet. In that courage and boldness, I want you to place your hands on your chest and begin to talk to God. You showed me the dream. You showed me that beautiful hand. You showed me, Lord, I saw it. 
I saw it, Lord. I saw it. I'm never going to allow distractions anymore. All crisis, solid rock, I stand. Oh, Lord, I ground is all of the ground is on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground my caboro de mosi in the lemos hotel here you are about so my god all of the ground my boy I want you to come alive now. Begin to touch your tests. Begin to receive courage. Begin to receive boldness. And begin to say to yourself, I can't be stopped anymore. Say to yourself, I'm unstoppable. I will get there. Come on, say to yourself, I will get there. I will finish well. I will get to the promised land. I'm not losing focus on my dreams anymore. I'm not losing focus on that destination anymore. Begin to talk to the Lord. So much the magnified the Lord and must be Sing this song again. Power am I beyond. I want you to sing that song from your heart. Mambo so Shine. I will shine. Ah, yeah, my 
visa is coming. That visa is coming. That blessing is coming. Man, bravo. Father, we thank you for your word that you released from the throne of grace. We appreciate you greatly because everyone under the sound of my voice today will come back very soon with a great testimony. You are bouncing back. I see somebody here, you are bouncing back. It's not over yet. You are bouncing back. You are bouncing back. Those who have ridiculed you, those who have insulted you, those who have embarrassed you, listen to me. They are coming back to pay obeisance to you. They are coming back to celebrate you. So it shall be. In Jesus' name we are free. If you have received something, come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah.